The indigo vat, or banda, is a large 44-gallon oil drum full of dark, smelly, frothy, greenish-blue dye, which can last for many years. Indigo dye has been the most popular and most common source of coloring cloth throughout West Africa for centuries. The rich, deep blue is extracted from the leaves of the indigo plant. The leaves are pounded and formed into balls, which are imported to the Gambia from Guinea Conakry. Preparing the dye is a long, complicated, and often mysterious process, taking several days in which indigo balls, roots of the wonder bush, and soda are used. Mbemba tests the dye by checking its color and its taste. A cloth dipped into the dye will only start turning blue when it reacts with the oxygen in the air. When the color becomes exhausted, the dye is strengthened by adding packets of synthetic indigo, which has the same chemical composition as the natural dye. Many dyers here in Sukuta and Dipper Kunda, another dye center nearby, still use indigo dye prepared in this way. Mbemba and the other dyers in Sukuta also use carved wooden batik stamps dipped in hot candle wax to make resist patterns on cloth. Simple animal shapes are popular, especially elephants, crocodiles, and fish. Other designs include flowers, fruit, and abstract patterns. The stamps are made from teak wood by local wood carvers. Firstly, ordinary household candles are heated in a shallow aluminium bowl over a wood fire. The cloth to be waxed is spread out on a low table covered with an old rice sack. The sack gives a good soft but firm printing surface. When the wax is melted and hot, the wooden stamp is left in it to heat up and absorb the hot wax. After a few minutes, the stamp is shaken to get rid of excess wax drips and then pressed firmly on the cloth. The cloth is then dipped in and out of the cola dye and left overnight. The next day, the cloth is re-waxed in places where the orange color is wanted. It is dipped several times into indigo until a deep black color is obtained. It is then laid out on the ground to complete the oxidization process. To remove the wax, the cloth is dipped quickly into a pan of boiling water, lifted out with a stick, and plunged immediately into cold water, where it is rubbed hard to remove any remaining wax. It is then spread out to dry. Another traditional method of patterning cloth is by stitching and gathering using a needle and thread. Alongside the traditional kola nut and indigo dyes, Bemba also uses ke German chemical dyes. Even though they are more expensive, these dyes are very popular since they give a wide range of brilliant colors and are quick and easy to use.
They are mixed together and dissolved in hot water. Concentrated dye can be poured on the stitched cloth. With this method, several colors can be applied one time. Another technique is to first immerse the cloth in one colour and then pour concentrated dyes over the dipped cloth. Stitched and gathered cloth dyed in this way produces stunning effects. Before the cloth is taken to the market, it is beaten with heavy wooden mallets. Beating is a way of ironing the cloth and gives a wonderful sheen to indigo dyed cloth. Recently in the Gambia, an old traditional method of patterning cloth has been revived due to the demands of fashion.